welcome everybody. Uh, my thesis is the up-to-date strategies in the injection therapy for partial rotator cuff tear and the prevention of cutibacterium acne infection after shoulder surgery. Uh, my name is Victor Wendinger for orthopedic department, Semmelweis University, and my supervisor is Gabor Skalitsky. Our mission to use fewer steroid injection in our practice and reduce the C acne culture with effective skin preparation and our vision of fewer side effects in patients thanks to, thanks to fewer steroids and less frequent surgical side infection due to less C acne germ. So we have two main topics, the heal rate and its combination are superior to steroids in the injection therapy of partial rotator cuff tear. And the second one is the peroxide skin preparation reduce the incidence of cutibacterium acne around the shoulder. Let's talk about the first one, the healing rate and its combination, which is the systematic review and meta-analysis. Uh, so here we are now, and our target article is the British Journal of Sport Medicine. Uh, yes, uh, you good to know that rotator cuff disorder is the more most frequent disorder of the shoulder, and the prevalence of the rotator cuff abnormalities elevate with the aging. Uh, if the patient have pain, uh, inflammation in the shoulder, we need to relieve the pain, the, the inflammation, and our gold standard is the subacromial, subacromial corticosteroid injection. <coughs> All of you know, know that uh, steroids have many side effects, and it's very harmful for the tendinocyta, and that's why we would like to replace the steroid with other agents. So compare the different substances used as patients with partial rotator cuff tears. Or clinical question, what is the difference between the effectiveness and safety of steroid injection and other injection for partial cuff tear? So we compare the corticosteroid with hyaluronic acid, PRP, the combination, regenerative cells, and saline, which is placebo. Our hypothesis that different injections have a similar efficacy but fewer side effects than steroid. Yes, we did our uh, search at October 12, 2021, and after we found more than 7,000, uh, after the selection, we had seven eligible full text. So let's talk about the results, visual analog scale. You all know, I think, 10 is the worst, zero is the best points, and for short terms, uh, with the zero point, which is the saline, only the hyaluronic acid plus PRP have a significant better result than the others. The network graph shows how many interventions we had. The, the green sticks, or here is the white and blue, uh, the intervention number, and uh, the, the comparison number, and the balls are the intervention numbers. We can make a rank, the green one is the, the best for the ranking plots, and the red one is the worst. For a longer term, uh, there is no any significant difference between the, the saline and the different agents, uh, but it's very interesting if we investigate the constant Merlick score, which is zero to 100 point, the 100 is the best, and it's more about the range of motion, we have significant better result with PRP, hyaluronic acid, and hyaluronic acid plus PRP. And the hyaluronic acid plus PRP is the best, as you can see here. And also, for longer term, there is no any significant difference compared with the saline, with the placebo, but also the hyaluronic acid plus PRP is the best treatment. American shoulder and elbow surgeon's uh, score, it's more, of, more about the general feelings of the, the patient with the shoulder. There are no any significant difference uh, comparing with the, the saline. Summary, of course we have strengths and limitation. Uh, maybe the most important is, this is the first research, research that compared different agents against placebo or examination at several different time points and we investigated only a very narrow population. The tendinosis, tendinitis, and the full tear was excluded. Of course, we have unfortunately limitation that only seven articles we had, and uh, it's really important. In the steroid group, there was a multiple active ingredient. 
It means triamcinolone and methylprednisolone also. And the uh, other important thing, we had uh, different PR pre-production methods in different articles. In conclusion, we have better metals than the saline, according to the constant Merlin ACES score. The hyaluronic acid, PRP, and the combination have a clear positive effect in short term. And the hyaluronic acid PRP combination also showed better result for a longer term. Suggestion, of course, we need more RCTs and only this, uh, so only the partial rotator cuff rupture need to be investigated. Uh, tendinitis, tendinosis, total rupture must be excluded. So the implication for practice based on this course, uh, it might be considering replacing the steroid injection uh, with other agent, but we have implication for research, further RCTs are needed, and uh, it's need to make long-term ex examination. That was my first topic, and let's talk about my second topic, which is the peroxy skin preparation, reduce the incidence, cutibac incidence of cutibacterium acnes in skin around the shoulder joint. After the shoulder surgery, about 1%, some kind of septical or uh, Yes, infection occurring, and the most common organism is the Cutibacterium acnes. Uh, Cutibacterium acnes is an anaerobic gram positive bacter, lives in the sebat cells gland. That's why we need to add a peroxid solution because our current surgical skin preparations are ineffective against C acnes. Our aim compared the preoperative skin preparation with and without peroxid solution to reduce the, sol the cutibacterium acnes germ. Uh, yes, we are comparing the skin preparation with peroxid solution and uh, skin preparation without peroxid solution and uh, or clinical implication, less C acnes in the skin leads to less, less subsequent infection. We, we did our uh, selection and after the, the duplication removal and the full text sele selection, we have 10 different articles and uh, we are doing now the, the data analysis. Thank you very much for your attention. Here we are now and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Congratulations, fantastic presentation. I just started to wonder whether, uh, so all of these, uh, regarding your first project, uh, uh, so all of these medications actually are decreasing uh, the inflammation as I, as I am thinking. Yes, or, or repair the, the partial rupture of the cuff. Yes, but I, I, I just started to think about how, if I would be the orthopedic, how would I uh, design actually these these kind of uh, RCTs? And uh, and uh, actually, I started to wonder whether these patients, meanwhile, uh, they are taking other medications. And uh, uh, if I would do a study, how would I actually uh, uh, reduce this bias? Because uh, of course, probably uh, I, I got an injection of corticosteroids of uh, or saline, and uh, of course, yeah. after saline, uh, the uh, the pain is still there, and I will take a couple of other medications or uh, I, I'm just uh, wondering whether uh, how can we decrease the bias uh, that's that's uh, because of this yes it's, it's good to know that uh, steroid is the the not the uh, very so it's the cheapest medicine for this situation the hyaluronic acid and the PRP also uh, much more expensive so it's very hard to say the patient uh, pay for the steroids only in Hungary 1,000 forint or paid for the hyaluronic acid 20,000 forint. So it could be also a bias. And uh, as Serbim mentioned earlier, uh, unfortunately PRP is not available in Hungary. So it's really hard to make this uh, trial in Hungary because there is some problem with, with these medicines. But unfortunately, but fortunately, it's available in, in China, in America, in East Europe, and other countries. So we should investigate it, I think. Okay, thank you.
probably that's too late to ask the students to ask more questions. Um, hydronic acid, I mean, you say that hydronic acid, but there are multiple types of hydronic acid. I mean, coarse bound, free, different types of, so which one do you use and why do you use or why, they, why, why others use? I mean, because there might be a kind of important difference between different hydronic acid uh, preparations and therefore the effects could be quite different too. Yes, it's a really good question. Unfortunately, there was no any information in the articles. Did they use the high molecular weight hyaluronic acid or a low molecular weight hyaluronic acid? I tried to find on the internet, but if the RCT was from China, I didn't find any exactly uh, points of how, what kind of hyaluronic acid was that. So yes, it could be also a bias. We know it, but it's hard to hard to assess it. This is not only about bias, but about trying to find the truth, trying to find which is actually the best treatment for something, because this is what you would like to do. So, uh, do you do research? Um, research. I mean, treatments here with hyaluronic acid. Yes, but mainly we don't use it yet in the shoulder. Mainly we we use it in the osteoarthrosis of the knee and the hip.